at the moment our game is very boring because we have to guess all the time the same words so for that we are going to create a method which creates a list of words and then it's going to choose a random word from that list so we have to create a method called set random word and this is going to set a random word in our variable remember that at the moment we have one variable with the word so we don't need the value of this so we are just going to declare the variable but we are not going to set any value on it because the method set random word will put a value to end word okay and when do we need to call this method we need to call this method after clearing the screen to set a random word and the first time that we open the game so after on create so how is this method how are we going to do to get a list of words okay so if you come to this web page bestwordlist.com and you search for four letter words we have here a big list we have here more than 5000 words so this will be a good thing to add in our application and it will be very entertaining to try to guess all of them so if you copy this list in our application so we are going to create a string here a string uh, a string words equals leave this empty for now add the speech mark add the semicolon to finish the line and now click on the middle of the speech mark and paste the content that way we have a very long string with all the words so how do we use this now is the important part now that every word is separate to a blank space so i'm going to introduce now the array this is an array in java we are going to talk first about what is an array An array in Java is just a container object. So as you can see here, this is the, the structure that an array has. It's a list of elements and every, every position on the array, it has an index. So you can, ask, you can always request one element knowing the index. So we will have one array of words. So one word will be here the second word will be in the second position it's going to be like that and to choose a random word we will just generate a we will generate a random index and we will tell to the array give me the element at position 8 for example so that is the that is how it's going to work so first we need to put all of these words inside an array how can i do that the class string the class string has one method which is a split what is going to do a split a split a split is going to split our string by any re regular expression as you can see here so i'm going to say that i want to split my string words with an un with a blank space so then this is going to split the like this and every element is going to be put in an array so at the end a split will return one array with every element a split okay let's debug here to see that everything is working fine I am going to put a log here to see that the length of the array is okay and see that we are doing everything fine 
the length is just how many elements does it has. So for that I'm going to print array words dot length. Okay. So let's see. Also I'm going to add a debug point here to show you with the array inside. What we are doing at the moment is going to be check that the array has been created okay and it has all these values inside and also we are going to check that the length of the array is fine, that it's not zero. So, okay. Now, we can see the log. We can see that the array length is 5000, is the same length as the word that we have introduced. So that is fine. And now if we debug, we will see the structure of the array internally. So let's debug. Okay, here we are. We have one array, this is, remember, the variables that we can see. We have one string words with all of words, and then we have one array called array words. And as we can see here, this is the array. On the position zero, we have the first word. On the position one, we have the second word. So like this, like this to 5,000. So as you can see, we have split this by the blank space, but we couldn't have used any other thing to split array. Okay, now we just have to choose a random word to display it on the screen.